Hey everyone, Chef, Terraformers. Can I tell you something, by the way, uh, as we do Expansion 45? Uh, I think I have microphone audio balance fixed, mostly. But, uh, I, like, it's kind of, honestly, it's kind of messing with me. Dude, Expansion is so good at the start. Um, so I'm like, I'm setting it up, right? You know, checking audio balance, checking levels, all that kind of stuff. And I can, like, I can hear birds in the background. I'm like, what the hell? Where are these birds coming from? So, like, the birds. I've got all the windows closed. What the hell? It's actually like there were birds outside, and my microphone was picking it up, and I couldn't hear them. So, <laughs> we're gonna... It might be a little too sensitive still. We'll see. I don't know. It's possible. So, it's, it's a really sensitive mic, apparently. So, I've done my best. You can't see it, because, you know, I'm recording, not streaming. But I um, I don't have a pop filter for it, so I've kind of had to, like, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures and just stick a sock on top of it. But it works. It works. It's a decent enough pop filter. I can live with it. It's fine. What can I live with here? I can definitely live with a tritium thermo generator. What I'd like to live with is a... God, realistically... Then we have two hints of nitrates. It should probably be a lab instead of a tuber farm. I just don't think we're going to get a tuber farm. or a, I don't think we're going to get to 10 nitrates anytime soon. An elevated tile is kind of neat. We see like a solar power thing. Could be pretty good for us. I would like to import. I'd like to explore first. Is that a second elevated tile? Oh my god. We're never going to want for power ever again. This is also like a pretty good expansion hub spot. We get three free tiles out of it. But I think if we destroy the expansion tile, we lose it. So it kind of costs us an elevated... I'm going to... I don't have to play this right now. I don't have to play this right now. I'm going to sit on it. I can be patient. What do I want to trade for, though? I think I want to get this rover exploration center up. So give me like an import here, give me an export on these. What is my plan? Honestly, my plan is like, chill out. Do some vibes-oriented gameplay. We did, like, we, we crushed it last game. We did great. I have no complaints. Let's just do more of that. Take a second, robot. And then we can grab nitrates here. Ironically, we probably could build tuber farm now, but a little late for that. This is going to be food, so you can be science. And then it's just like keep exploring. If I grab a hint of water, I might be able to build a greenhouse. Nah, not quite. I can do it next turn, though. And you're decent. You're not amazing, but you're not terrible. You get us a water. Oh, this we're doing ex uh, expansionist. We actually don't want you. You're the wrong climate zone. And you're real bad. Although you, holy... Well, it's all going to be flooded eventually anyway. I don't know. I, I think I can be... I think I can afford to be really patient with that thing. I don't need to plunk it down immediately. Let's see if I can find another city spot that doesn't suck. So far, mission failed. I'm already out of space. All right, I guess we have to build this robot hub now. And then we might as well grab one of these tiles. And the second one might end up being that water. Give me expansion tiles. Start bringing titanium in. Grab you. I will absolutely take an aquifer hint. And then we've got a potential titanium mine up there as well. Get me to four titanium next turn. We'll be able to build that mine. Not too many complaints about our resource income currently. I think we're doing fine. Technologies are cheaper. I'm not like super about it. I am super about urban planning and I'm definitely super about a resident station. But would I take that over a greenhouse farm right now? I actually think no, I wouldn't. I think I'd rather have the greenhouse farm. And I think I'd really like to identify some water. Like, grab this, that'll let you build the farm. Grab this, that'll get you your titanium. 
Grab this, set your mine up, build this. Get your food income sorted. Hard to go wrong if you just stack food for expansion, I feel. And you still want to import titanium? Yeah, I think so. Why wouldn't I? What else do I want? Not really anything, I think, right now. Another lab would be kind of nice. We can probably put that down relatively soon. I do kind of want to know what this is. Potential city site? Yeah, I would put a city there. That small natural site is really not good, though. But I would pretty happily take a fertile soil. And I can just dike this. It's fine. I can dike it. It'll probably be a pretty good coastal city. It's going to have a nitrate mine, an aquifer, and a geothermal power plant. I'm fine with all that. I also wouldn't mind grabbing a support building relatively early here. Which I think actually might pull me towards Beatrix a little bit. This is only ever going to get us like 20 support. That's probably going to get us like 6. But, you know, these kick in. Right? Well, mm, well... No, maybe Interclass Dialogue Center is better. You know, maybe I do do that. And then I would love to have another one of you. I know that not grabbing the trade route is kind of bad, but I really want to finish this complex and then get this uh, soil factory down basically as early as possible. So why don't you give me this exploration to recapture some power? And then we'll satellite this, we should be able to found this city. And that will give us coverage in Tempe as a climate zone, which has a ton of small hints of power. It's very nice. You good with the rest of this? Yeah, I think so. Wouldn't mind seeing a support building relatively soon here. We definitely take titanium there. We definitely can't afford to repair either of those. You don't do anything, but you do a lot for us. Can I grab a silicate hint that's also a nitrate hint that's also a water hint? Is that too greedy? I think that might be too greedy. Well, you can do this. Silicate nitrate, and then you can just grab like any water hint. I think this is worth it because we go minus 5, but then we go plus 10 from fixing the building. And then that will, I guess, we'll just have to fix next turn. So give me a photovoltaic field here. Let's up our power production. And then this is fine. We need hints of water to found that city up. Take methanogenium. Take a rocket pad. Wouldn't mind finding another hint of water here. We'll grab you to go to four, repair this. Maybe import some water just to get that city founded faster. And our support is still a little dicey. But I'm also wondering, like, you here? You, 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 landing pad? Extra trade route? Doesn't seem bad. It really doesn't. I'm not going to found you. I think our food is going to be stretched pretty tight. Although, well, dude, an expansion up here would actually go kind of crazy. It would grab us three tiles, admittedly, but one's a nitrate mine, one's a titanium mine. I think you might go here. And then if this is an empty tile, we can put the landing pad there. And then you're also just like kind of a buns location. So why don't you go here? You can come here. Give me this extra trade route. We can export tritium relatively safely. I need to explore these three. Plus one silicates for mines? No. Give me a food building to prep for starting that city. Give me a hint of water that's also titanium. C. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Do we have satellite next turn? We do. How important is it to get you up early? I would say relatively important. Because it's going to give you an extra two food. So you're going to postpone building your expansion hub for one turn. For the sake of getting that down. To grab like a hint of water. And then you can satellite this nitrate. Which will let you build a soil factory. Because that's plus three food. And then you can found this for a plus three. Next turn, if you explore nitrates, you can grab this. You also have a robot hub that you can just pop down immediately. So why don't you go there? We can grab this geothermal spot, which I do think will be power. And we can grab this nitrate spot. So now we've got nitrate income. We're good on water for a bit. You can come back to titanium. Two, three, and we explore this and maybe get lucky and we can pop you down next turn. Giant heater's pretty great and we have the power for it somehow. All right, so you go here. We didn't get lucky with the nitrate, but that's fine. Give me these three tiles, mine this for sure. What do we care about more? I think we almost certainly care about an agricultural complex more. We can also play urban planning. Well, actually, we don't need to. I would actually rather get the culture meat lab down first. We just play this before we make our next city. It's not hugely important. So we're saving up for 24 water, which is a long ways away, and 12 titanium, which is also a long ways away. Our next couple explorations are going to be a little busy. But that's okay. And then the next turn, we can probably just plunk a giant heater right here. Sure, that's fine. I'll happily take another food building. I will happily put down the earliest giant heater you've ever seen in your life. And then I would like to explore uh, nitrates, I think, pretty much exclusively. Grab me one of these. You come here. We have a nice little triple food configuration here, or possibly even like food, soil factory, food, soil factory, food, soil factory, if we want to go nuts with it, which maybe we do. If we get the GMO lab or whatever, that also produces one food. Like we could produce an enormous amount of food in this city, which would set us up really well for just kind of moving through the rest of the game. So now that that's out of the way, our next big priority is probably going to be that geothermal power plant. Four power per turn is not going to carry us forever. I think it's a fine time to take a space project. No, you should take support. No, you're competing for science right now. You should take a space project. Do we have a big hint of titanium anywhere for this satellite? No, but you have a couple small hints. You have a close hint here, that's four. I just want to make my power go as far as possible. That's three, puts you at 11. And then you can satellite here to also get extra water towards your agricultural complex. And then you can go here, geothermal power plant, six power per turn. And now we're probably saving up for a cultured meat lab. I don't need you right now, is the thing. Five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Something like that should do. And then if I can explore a small hint of science like you, I can build this cultured meat lab next turn. That'll be an extra little bit of support. Always welcome. Wouldn't mind seeing a robot hub here so I could grab that aquifer. Also wouldn't mind seeing a bus station so I could just expand a little further. Let's see if we can get one. A silicate asteroid? Nah, I'm good. I'm a little busy on space projects right now. A lab would be nice. A development center is a little far off. But maybe it's worth rushing one. 
You only have one science per turn right now, though. And you can just build this immediately. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, give me a small hint of science. Give me a second lab. And now the next thing you're looking for is nitrates to build these two laboratories, probably, which can go here and here. Sure. Definitely take one of those bad boys. Nitrate hint. Big nitrate hint, preferably, but I think a small one will go the distance here, too. Just grab this guy, because you're probably going to want that mine eventually. It wasn't enough. Okay, fair enough. Well, in that case, I can actually just reset you, and now I can finish this thing. We're sitting at 4 titanium, which means if we see, like, a robot hub pop up, we can explore it, or we can satellite for it, and then we can think about expanding to that aquifer. It doesn't, like, completely kill our income. It's okay. projects proposed this turn. I think I'd rather have more stuff at this point. I feel like I'm a little stuff limited right now. There's the robot hub we wanted. Can I get a titanium hint so I can build it? Thank you. You can just go like here. Doesn't really matter. Come out here and then can I reach another titanium for five power? Yeah, that's actually fine. You can build the mine. There you go. Okay. And then you also have the nitrates to build your labs. So one can come up here. Next turn we can place the second one. We get three science per turn. We have a very healthy economy. I think we're doing well. We are about to get hit with a support increase, which is going to like kind of ruin our day. But until then, we're chilling. Yeah, there it is. Take my first water project, happily. Destroy this rock. Second lab. I should probably start looking for like our next city found location. It doesn't do anything is the problem I have with it. Holy cow, you do a lot. Okay, uh, we'll be founding you. I know they're like super close or whatever, but I mean, look at it. Tritium mine, enormous natural site. We can build a house here, here, here to take advantage of support gains. We can actually do that two turns from now. That's going to be a great city spot. Oh, and then we can also do the egg complex. I completely forgot about you. We can do that this turn. Good. I didn't lose any time. Okay, so it's actually five turns before we can found that city, but we can find a couple hints of water, and that should uh, that should advance our claim pretty nicely. Take a tundra forest. Wouldn't mind taking a second photovoltaic field for that spot specifically. We're not going to build a skyscraper. We're not... That's not really our plan right now. Give me this. Next turn will be at 11. I'll take one turn off just to do that. I think I would also spend this expansion point to get to that silicate deposit next turn. No, you could get it from this city without like really spending anything. Just do that instead. And take like a third rover exploration center. Give me more power. Nine per turn. Good. Explore me here. And then I need like a large hint of water with a satellite. Next turn I can found. Good. So I don't need you anymore. I can put you back on this project. Applied research, not bad. Artificial personality, not bad. Terraforming observations, not great. Mulhole, I'm so far away from that, man. Holy cow. It's good. But this is really one of those cases where you're like, you're never going to build that. You're going to take it and it's going to sit in your hand forever. On the other hand, a development center, pretty nice. On the other hand, a school would be a decent support building to go like right there. 
I think I'm going to take the school and hope that I find a development center later. So found you. Found. Give me a nice plus six here. Destroy this rock. Explore me a small hint of titanium if such a thing is available. It is. Build that mine. I need to change that order. I'm a fool. I missed out on a free expansion. And I can't revert it. Alright, play that now so you're not forgetting it in the future. Because you've kind of cost yourself pretty dearly with that. If we lose the total locations owned by one, I'm going to be upset. Bright side, though, it's turn 25 and we have 12 food for, per turn. Which is a pretty crazy amount. I'm pleased with that, but I'm not pleased with that uh, support increase. I actually think I kind of have to take a skyscraper just to live. That's 13 support from one skyscraper. And then I get two expansion tiles for a mine. And a second mine. And if I can find a small hint of titanium that's relatively cheap, I can build both of them. I'll take it. And then you would make a fantastic spot for a rover exploration center when I get to it. I can't afford the tritium mine, but that's fine. Tritium's not super important right now. So you're chilling, and you're kind of chilling. We have a little more expansion we want to do with you, but it's not quite ready yet. Any of these cities look good? No. We'll be hoping for a third city location somewhere in Solus if we want to found there. We also need some big-time support income soon. Robot Hub is fine. You're cheap. Scrab you for two. You're okay. I'm not excited by you, but you're fine. And then I need some silicate hints to maybe get this school down. Next turn we can school. It's going to be a little extra support. It's not a ton. But we, we gotta make some changes here soon. Minus 51 is not going to do it for us forever. Need to increase pop. Sure. Fair enough. We'll just do it here instead. Minus 49. I think I might need to explore support to live. Do you need water right now? Not really, but it would help you with like a, another city found. And you do kind of want to do that one. So maybe just grab that water because it's also support. Take a forest. I kind of have to take a house. Just to get the extra tiles here so that I can build a support building here. Take the support. A double canyon is not bad. I wish that you had more... Like, more synergies with the stuff that you do, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I would pretty happily take four trade routes. And I think I would pretty happily take another expansion hub, although plus you support for every robot. That's four support. That's eight support. Would I take a building that's 8 support for basically stuff that I have laying around? I think so. Where would you put it? Mm. Let's say for now here is fine. No, let's say for now here is fine. Because that's going to be one of the spots where a soil factory goes if we ever get there. And we might never get there, which means that that's just where that building will live forever. Then let's satellite you and explore you to get the support. And then we could found this if we wanted, which I think we do. How bad's the support hit for it? Zero. But then you would get triple canyon view out of it. So this city doesn't do anything except generate support. But I guess that's fine. And then destroy this rock so if you see like a, a farm building you can pick it up. You come here. 
you go here. I'm going to wait for that to get discounted a little bit. Dykes being cheaper is pretty neat. Link Nitrogen Factory is pretty neat. Power Breathing Center is pretty neat. I think Jan is going to be a great pick here, and I would love to take one of those and just place it immediately. It's a shame that I can't put you here. If I destroy you... Yes, it will remove connections. You can't game it like that. I could expand here, and I could get two water exports and a tritium export. Do I care about you? No, you're not good. Let's do that. You go here, you go here. Give me plus three. Uh, don't export both your waters, that's a little crazy. Export one of them. And then what do we want to try and rush right now? Maybe a bacteria spreader. Get some terraforming parameters started. We're exporting too much? Oh, I have a free import, duh. Mm, make it titanium. Keep this project going. Because when this finishes, we'll get at least a little bit of a support bump. I mean... I do have an elevated tile nearby. You also might be elevated. You're not. It's a lot of power to say no to. But then also, like, a GMO lab would be really good. But then also, like, a skyscraper would be quite a bit of support for some of these cities. Oh, I never built this mine. I should do that. Like, a skyscraper here would actually be quite a bit of support. This pick sucks. I wish I had a development center so I could take more than one option. Take the skyscraper. That's only plus one. Uh, it's still fine. That's okay. Is that really worth it? I don't think it is. I'm changing my mind, man. I'm taking the GMO lab. You can't stop me. I'm going to rush to 38 science, and I'm going to build this GMO lab. And it's going to give me a ton of food. Get ready for you to be done. So two turns we flood the planet, one step, which will be nice. Take a support building? I don't know. Let me think about that one for a bit. Because you definitely want to play a robot hub in San Salvador. So we need to find a titanium that's really far away to use our satellite on. And it looks like it's probably going to be you. And then we're going to give you a robot hub. That's going to be like farm, soil factory, farm. This can be house. We can put a robot hub like here. Take this tile. Take this tile. Get a bacteria spreader started. And then we're probably on the lookout for our next city. So you might be all right. You are all right, I would say that's pretty good. So we need to hit you and you, and then we'll be able to get that up. And I can still research a project. Now I get to think about this. What do I want? Do I have a support building here yet? I don't. That kind of pulls me towards a public bath. Give me plus four. I just want to stay in the green as much as possible. And I don't want to put anything towards that project yet, honestly. Give me a bunch of science and rush this GMO lib. Is that fine? No. You should do like that. Look at how much tritium you have. Tritium is just a, a great thing for you to throw out right now. Miner's Cottage, pretty good. Tuber Farm, pretty good. Orbital Solar Panels, possibly the least good pick here. A miner's cottage is nice support, but I really think we just double down on food right now because of how important it is to expand. We know we have an anomaly site coming up, so just give me some extra science. Enable you, go to water one. 
I mean, nitrates for no like real good reason. It's gigantic. We will be able to build so many plant spreaders. So you go here. I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you for just a little bit. Because I really want you to go here. So next turn, we can found that city. Some trade routes aren't assigned. Fine, keep going on science. Dump all of your tritium. Just get rid of it. Hyperloop is huge. Found. Plus three. It's not really what I was hoping for. But I'll take it. Don't carry it. Probably do care. Yeah, I think I do care. We need a titanium hint next turn. We have a small one out here that also comes with water. We have one here that also comes with water. We have one here that also comes with water. We have one here that also comes with Okay, I'm seeing a I'm seeing a theme. I think you're really important to grab right now. So that I can see more stuff. So it's house support, house, house. Uh, we could put a buffer building here to protect against this water annoying people. But I think first we actually want to get this GMO lab up. And we want to do it here. So that's plus three food. We can basically build as many houses as we want now. And I want to grab a little extra titanium, right? Yeah, because you still need to build that mine. So this one is kind of cheap for you to reach with your leader. Rover Museum is pretty nice. And then this one you can reach with a satellite. That puts you at four. Build your mine. What's your next plan? Because you got a lot of really good stuff going on here right now. You have this Hyperloop, which is going to go insane in RCI Outpost, I think. It could also be quite good in New San Salvador to pick up a large nitrate deposit in a mineral cave. And a water deposit and a third canyon. Okay, I've talked myself into putting it in a New San Salvador, I think. So we'll wait for that one. Wouldn't mind also finding like a city location. You're bad, but you might be the only city in Amazonas that we can found. Which makes you good. And then we gotta get these things down. We need to discover tiles that we can actually expand to. Otherwise we're gonna be in for a, a rough go of things. Let's say. Could also maybe reach over there. It would give us a minus one, but it's such a good spot to put a rover exploration center. And then if you don't flood then I'll probably dike this entire thing off. We'll find out. Sure, that's fine. Second soil factory? I kind of want none of those. It sounds crazy. It does flood. Okay, so we're going to want a shipwright in Ayad Town. And we want to let this tile flood. Because that will allow us to expand out into the ocean. So I need to find an alternative place to put one of these things. Which I guess it's going to be like somewhere down here. Yeah, you. I think you definitely need the Hyperloop. And that might be the next thing that we build. The support is getting a little scary, though. Maybe we do need to take a house here. Take a house and stick it, like... Do I have anywhere left that's next to a support building? Yeah. Like, here. I just need a little bit of support to come from, like, anywhere. And if I can wait three turns, then temperature increases, and that's going to help our quality of life a little bit. We can also get this tile, which I guess is like an okay spot for a rover exploration center in a pinch. But I need to get to nine titanium. 
So I think we probably shift gears here. And that'll actually get us there next turn. Sure. Give me herring. I'm going to think about that one. So you come here. Extra exploration. All we want to do is hammer these potential ocean tiles. I think. 26. Next turn, I can make a hyperloop. So I, I don't want to spend this science because I want this hyperloop to go down instead. And then what are you going to need? Do you have any where you can plant trees? N yes, you could put some in Utopia Minor, but it floods. You could put some in Elysium. It might also flood. It's maybe worth it anyway. 27, 28, 30. Export a silicate instead. And then what do we take? Knowing that you'd have to throw something else out of your hand for this. Or wait an extra turn on a hyperloop, which I don't really want to do. I mean, it's five support, right? Which kind of pulls me to taking that. And maybe like replacing a lab with it. I think I kind of need to, because I'm not going to fit another house here. So I think you go here, and then if I see a, um, a whatchamacallit pop-up, I can put it there. So we're off titanium now, and then we're going to be back onto science. And it's going to be like a couple more turns before we can make a hyperloop. But I, like, I don't want to die to support. So I think we kind of got to do it that way. Could build a second giant heater. <laughs> sure, seems fine. I would love to see like a large hint of science for this satellite. Maybe one that's in an area that will be flooded. No, no such luck. Well, actually, maybe you. Plus two. And then how much do you give me? Plus two again. Keep exploring stuff in the ocean. That puts you at 23. So next turn, you can do the Hyperloop. This turn, you can do the Plant Spreader. Are you interested in that? Do you have a tile for that? You don't have a tile. You could grab a tile for it, actually. It's going to cost you minus one, but I think this has more value. Because it allows us to do something like... We're going to have to. Something like this. Eventually that might flood, but hopefully by the time it floods, we have better solutions to our uh, support issues. We can replace with, like, kelp or something. Huge? But also, like, pretty huge. And we have a ton of tritium. And we could finish this very fast. And it gets us trade routes. All right, you, you've talked me into it. Export two water for free. Turn it into titanium. You're going to be a hyperloop, and you're going to go here. You're going to get me this canyon view. This empty tile. This titanium mine. That empty tile, and this nitrate mine. This hint of water as well this titanium mine, once I know about it, possibly even this elevated square. This elevated square. Oh, there's a titanium mine here too. Holy cow, there's so much stuff I want. So many good things. Uh, I can leave that to Iad Town probably. Grab you this, and then we'll grab that as well. I need titanium. So let's finish this project, and then we'll switch over to titanium once again. We'll definitely explore that hint to maybe rush some of this stuff out. We've got a lot of buildings that need to get built. And then you're still at minus 48. So you should probably figure out something to do about that. It's going to involve a support building here and then like a lot of houses, I'd imagine. Free docks, cheaper mines, 
breach aquifers you don't own. Double exploration is quite good. Plus one power for expansion points is also quite good. Researching two extra projects is also quite good. This is a tough pick. We don't have a docker. You know what? He just does too much good stuff. Explore this. Explore this. Expand to this. Give me a mine. 14 science. I would like to start seeing more projects. And then I'd also like to know where my next city will be going. Upper Noach is looking pretty good. Temperature's not that bad, so we can avoid the penalty from cold. Rainfall will eventually be good. We can put uh, the plants there. Positive experiences for everyone involved. We just have to find a place that we can actually make a city. And oxygen is at zero, so I don't think there's anywhere that animals can live right now because they require oxygen one. But when we hit oxygen one, they could live in Borealis. So let's keep that in our back pocket if oxygen ever starts incrementing faster. Maybe because we find like a couple O2 factories. And then I also just really need to see houses at this point, I think. No, I will be taking the support almost certainly. There's a house. Look at the other cards you have. Yes, we're taking the house. <laughs> you stopped to look, but we're taking the house. I think... I don't think I need the water. I think I need the mineral cave. Although you get six support per turn, man. You're making two titanium. You have a ton of trade routes. Maybe you do just import and you don't worry about it that much. So why don't you give me that? Why don't you protect that natural heritage by exactly what I wanted? Just grabbing some extra titanium and then some extra titanium. It's gigantic. Oh, baby, I probably should. So definitely protect you now. That takes you to minus 34. And now you can do things like build mines. And you should probably be like the first mine I build. So next turn, how much titanium can you explore? Quite a bit. Well, actually, maybe not. Mm, yeah, like not really, actually. You good to send it like this? Yes. There's our shipwright that we wanted. Plus two water, not worried. I won't be taking a building that's minus comfort of living. Scuba diving school will be nice, but we're not quite ready for it yet. We're just going to take the shipwright to get Iad Town prepared for the eventual flood. We're going to continue exploring potential water tiles, even though the cooldown is a little bit longer. And then we're going to go give me titanium, please. Give me titanium, please. Expand to here. Deep core mine. Dike once. Five titanium per turn. Feeling pretty positive about that. Positive enough that I'm going to switch to importing nitrate so that I can build more plant spreaders if they show up. Just kidding. If I see a development center, I would really love to take it. So I'm going to do that instead. Okay. So we're not, we're not out of the woods yet, but we're doing okay. I would really like to take you. I think I would give up an O'Neill cylinder to do it. No, I think I can give up uh, satellites to do it. I have so many rover exploration hubs that I can make to actually meet this total location zone criteria. No, you shouldn't. Remember how close you were last game and that was only 90. You need 100 for this game. You should take the skyscraper. You have enormous comfort of living bonuses in New San Salvador. They will love it here. Plus seven. <laughs> it's really good. And they don't have like a comfort of living building there yet. So give me a tritium mine. You could even get that empty tile. Like there's so much you could do here. This empty tile actually goes crazy if I put a rover exploration center there. Five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't trust it. 
you'll be at 24 next turn. That's enough to play a development center if you see one. We're going to take one. We're going to finish you. We're going to put one towards you, and then we're going to start working on you. And then we're going to explore twice, and I'm going to stay away from this whole area with his explorations, because we know that we can do them with the rover later on. We're good. Minus 70. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. There's the development center we wanted, so we take you. And you can go here. And you can go here. It's a cheap exploration. That's a cheap exploration that we can expand to eventually. You're a cheap exploration we could probably expand to eventually. We could set you off. We need silicates to repair. We need titanium to repair. We need titanium to repair. I need a hint of titanium to make sure that I can repair the stuff that we'd break if we set you off. But I think that's going to be worth it. Wait until next turn. Okay. You don't need signs anymore. Build up your titanium stocks. Do it again. And I think every time you see a house from now on, you basically take it. A bus station would be very good in Iad Town. I didn't even like that spot. It's a second empty hex, and it's a sandstone. So I think we do that, but then there's also this exploration satellite here. I'd rather take the tiles. And you can go... It's only plus two. It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, because we're going to trade it for sandstones, which are plus five. And then just a... Wait, that's going to get disconnected, though, when we flood the planet. Eh, it's fine. Who cares? Are you good with this? Your support is still really bad. You only live for two more turns, in fact. Well, for now. Because we can take house. Remove you. Plus eight. One more expansion. That's a great city. We'll be founding that for sure. Let's just make sure we have enough power to do all this, though. You're only two. And then you're four plus science. Do you have an anomaly or anything down here? No, you just have fertile soil. Just, like, don't lose this game. You're doing so well. Grab another empty tile. Spread more bacteria. Minus 86. You should really pivot onto an ocean project. Because it's 50 ocean and you can breach a non-owned aquifer. Like this thing. And that would put you at 60. Yeah, but then, like, you need the, the the exploration, though. You don't. It's turn 46. I think you're going to be stuck with whatever exploration you've done. Deimos? No, thank you. You don't actually help me with climate zones. Huge. Massive building. Increases radiation by one. Produces heat. I don't think so. I think we grab a dock to be safe. New San Salvador will be getting a lovely support building. Down to minus 71. It sort of puts us at a three turn kill. But in reality it's a little higher than that.
and then we found you. And you're going to go here for a plus two. Next turn, I need to get rid of those rocks. Set up a city mine. We get a free expansion tile out of it. Probably do that. Get another rover exploration center down. Titanium basically free at this point. I need to found four more cities. That's going to be 120 food. We'll be totally fine on food. We'll be totally fine on water. What we need to worry about right now is total locations owned. And total locations owned is going to be greatly simplified by flooding the planet and getting explorations. So let's work on flooding the planet. We have explorations available. We're just going to relax. 25 titanium. It's unnecessary. Please give me support instead. Plants. It's necessary. This is food for our fertile soil. Destroy you. Go here. Destroy you. Don't build that. Because you need power for explorations. Is there a like hint of power anywhere around here so that I can do both of those? Yes. Beautiful. And then I can do you and I can do you. Just keep the ball rolling. And then with this empty hex, we can put down a plant spreader and put down an alpine pine forest now. That gives us extra support, gives us extra oxygen. Getting oxygen, remember that incrementing this oxygen allows you to build an animal spreader, which is big for you. And I actually kind of want to let my water build up in order to get to that point. It's not gonna matter. That will matter, this will matter quite a bit though. Like that'll matter even more so. Take the house, take a gas factory. No. Take an expansion hub. You're good on houses. I can't fit any more in. Anybody else get massive support benefits? You still haven't built that tritium mine. You know what? You don't need it. I'd rather have 10 support. And then an expansion. It costs me one, but it increases by one, two, three, four, five. So really it's like a net plus four. And then I want to save science for animal tracking because if we place just a couple more trees, we're actually ready to start spitting animals out. You take this exploration, you take this exploration, and you take this exploration so that you can take three and three. And now what? Well, now what you need is like power in a pretty big way. You're hoping for like a one of those solar plants so you can put up here to get plus three power. Your water project's done next turn. You need to breach an aquifer next turn with Io Kunle as a result. And you know where to do it. It's just the one up here. Minus 84 is a little spooky. I think we fully transition into things that give us either support or expansion tiles right now, and we don't take anything else. Breach. You don't have a bus station yet. We can remedy that for you. That gives you an extra two. Like, people are still going to hate it, but it's fine. And then, honestly, if I take this from you, we actually might need to found that city, even though it's on flat plains. I could grab that. So why don't you give me this, and then why don't you give me this? And I don't want to build the mine because I don't want to spend the power. So you have one, two, three. You will have four mines. That'll give us eight support. You have one, two, two mines. You have two mines. You have one, two, three, four mines. But no room. 
All right, well, that makes that kind of easy. And then we will want to build that tritium deposit. We should also just finish liking this. Done. Done. And we want to let you flood, because then we'll build the ship right here. Some trade routes aren't assigned. I can afford to spend this now. No, it should be power. Convert this to power as well. I think we're looking okay. Cheaper plant spreaders would go crazy right now. Water project would go crazy right now. Skyscraper might also go crazy right now just for the support. Where would you put it? Here. Right? Like, that would be good. You can look at it and then change your mind later, I think. Like, if you take Skyscraper, it's plus five. I would take plus five. And then you get two extra tiles. Like, what are you going to do with those? Here and here? Like, people hate that, but what else are you going to do? You don't have anywhere else you can expand to, so I guess you are. Dyke, mine. Satellite, everything in the ocean now, at this point. You, you are exclusively looking in the ocean. And then switch off of this thing. Get onto this thing. Oxygen increase in eight turns. I might not be alive in eight turns. Eh, maybe I will. You never know. So I think I needed to found you, was it? No, I want to see if you're worth founding. I also want to build that mine. I need to see if you're worth founding next turn. Because if you are, that's where my upper Nuancha city is going to be. And then we just need to found three more. Phobos? No. Expansion tiles? I don't, well, support. But I don't think I'm going to have anywhere good to put that. So I'm throwing the rest out. Explore. No, there's a cheaper way to do it. You can get it with one of the rovers. It is good. Get that. Get this. Next turn we satellite that, probably. Give me animal tracking. Get ready for this to pop. We have an anomaly that we can put the rover museum on here. Like, this is going to be a perfectly acceptable city for us. It's going to do everything we want it to do. Plant spreader me. Show me plant spreader. You have not shown me plant spreader, but you have shown me things that I want. You've shown me a lot of things that I want, actually. Do I have a fertile soil somewhere I'm not using? No, I'm using that one. So we can cross you off. A miner's cottage is always good. But we have kind of filled up all your available spots. We haven't filled up all your available spots, and you own three mines. So we take you for support, and we take you for power, and we say to you, unfortunately, there's no room right now. We... That's not what I wanted to do, and I can't revert it. Oh, I really wanted to explore that tile this turn. That's a really unfortunate misclick. Two oxygen? No, no, no. It has to be kelp forest. Kelp me. That gives you plus two food. We come up here, we put a miner's cottage down. That's plus seven. It also gives you another expansion that you really don't need and can't really use. Oh yeah, you never set this thing off send it. <laughs> repair me. Repair me. Repair me. I actually think I can use it. So we'll take that tile from you, and then we'll take this tile. And then that's where we could put, like, another photovoltaic array. And then we just need to turn this down. Because it's going to take a turn for that to transfer over, and we lost all of our trade routes. But I think that's worth it. I think that was, I think that was honestly worth it. 
Oof. You finish this turn. We can go back to working on you. We can export two of you to import two of you. We can, don't misclick this time, explore you so that we can found you. I'll just put you like here for max support. Destroy you, destroy you. Put you down for extra support. I would like to protect natural heritage here, I think. Can I find any titanium in the water? Yes. And yes. Good. Then I'd like to put you down. 12 power per turn. If we see another one, we can go to 15. 10 support I don't really think is what we're looking for right now. Your expansion tile, so I guess we take you. I still need to found three more cities and climate zones, huh? I think it's doable. I can do Sabia Minor, Sabia Major, Lower Notches. None of them should be flooded. It just means this is where I'm going to need to uh, spend most of my expansion tiles. But I think that'll be fine. Like, all we need to do is live. We just need to live. I don't think this is as bad as it looks right now. Sure, it's free power. Literally free power. I want to put you somewhere where you'll get support. Does such a place still exist in the world? Signs point to no. Maybe? Signs... Signs point to yes! Plus 10. And an expansion. Harvest black sand. Take a long trip to the pole. Spread black sand. Heat increase. Terraforming increase. Oxygen increase in two turns. Exploration. We need to find city founding locations. We found one for lower and watches. Grab this tile, and then I can found you. Sure. Build a mine? Sure. Flood the planet? Sure. You're so close. We need 40 more water, huh? Well, we could breach that, and then we need 20. We could breach that, and then we need 10. And then we could dismantle this mine, and then we're done. And that would leave us with three water per turn. I actually think that's a reasonably good trade. So we build a robot hub in Blue Crater next turn. And then we'll be able to hit water three. Is that minus 50% science? I didn't read. <laughs> Give me this. Give me this tile. Oh, no. Do I need titanium this turn? Yes. I'll grab some more. Okay, so extract you. You come here, expand here, extract you. And then next turn, we'll have to destroy this mine. And if we need more water, we can just, you know, use these. What's your problem? One regional building will flood. That's fine. I know that that regional building will flood. I'm not really that worried about it. So that's our lower Noachis city. We need Sabia Minor, Sabia Major cities, and that's done. And then all we need is 45 expansions. I don't think we know about 45 ocean tiles yet, but we're getting close, and we still have 10 turns to find the requisite buildings. Oxygen increases in one turn. Water increases in one turn. That's going to give us a nice support bump. I think maybe we are kind of doing it. We're going to be short a space project next turn, so let's take you. Just because you'll be a nice plus 10. It doesn't do a lot, but it does something. Oxygen increase? Good. I don't really care about any of those. This would be a decent spot for an expansion hub. Get four. One of them's titanium, one's water. But let's satellite. Well, actually, let's let's do this first. It's cheapest. That's not a city. That is a city. 
It's an okay city. Found you. Finish you. Build you, because we're going to be building a lot of robots very soon. Where would we like robots to go? Big Titanium could grab quite a few. Blue Crater is probably going to get crowded out by Sabia Major and Sabia Minor, if I had to guess. Lower Notches could grab quite a few. We actually want to do it here. Yeah, just send it. Because we want this tile, and then we want this tile, and we'll grab this tile next turn. This is technically going to cost us one support, but I, I don't really care. And then do we do anything with these? I mean, we might take this just to have it in the inventory. We might take this just because we have such a, titan or a tritium surplus. Can't research more project? What's the problem? Oh, not enough titanium, because I just spent it all. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. And then we destroy this water mine. Destroy, extract. Three locations disconnected. It's fine. That's okay. We'll get them back. Because next turn we'll build a ship right here, and then we'll go here, here, here. And it'll be just fine. Okay. We're living. We're, we're actually going to be fine. This is tiles. This is tiles. Try and stop me. I don't think you're ever going to be a soil factory. So let's just put a... Uh, you know, one of those things. Get all of those tiles back. Now you're at plus one again. How are you? Where are you getting all of these? Are you any good? No. Okay, then take this tile from New San Salvador. New San Salvador can have that. Put down an animal spreader. Spread herring. 13, 11, 11, 11. Go with 11. Massive support increases. We love animal spreaders here. And then we need to keep finding a city location in uh, Sabia Minor. We found one, but I guess let's prep it to actually get founded. And then we still need to find one in Sabia Major. It's not free. I would actually rather have an animal spreader if one pops up. So I'm going to skip it. Is there a good reason for not taking a school, though? I don't think so. This is just free support. Go. Minus 112. Animal spreader? Huge. You have no power here. Plus 5 support. Plus 2 support to reach coastal location. You own 3... Th 3 coastal locations? Seafood restaurant would actually be kind of good there. Oh, but this is tiles. You have to take tiles. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't make the rules. I do need a titanium here, though, this turn. So that I can put down my new house. Oh, city location. I'll put you in big titanium for a plus five. Grab you. Grab you, even though it's going to be a minus one, that's fine. Enable all these. I gotta pick this thing up soon, too. Give me heat. Give me animals. Spread herring here. Next animal spreader will give us another plus one. How long do these guys take? Not that long. Ten turns? That's not bad. Oh, I can still take you. All right, seafood restaurant. And then some trade routes are assigned. Okay, so what do we need? We need a lot of power. We're getting a lot of power, though. We need a lot of titanium to build these bad boys. 
let's do something like this. Mm, you might see a maglev. Maybe don't do that. I think you could do something like that. Something like that. And that should that should do a decent job of seeing you through. Blue Crater can also grab this, basically, for free. None of these are tiles. So I don't particularly care. Grab a support building. Grab a house. It's potentially extra support. Get this city ready to be founded. Found it. Go here. Nitrate mine. I don't think I care. And then you come down here. I know it's a long trip, but just bear with me. Satellite this. That'll get those four. And then probably just start grabbing stuff that's close, right? Is all this water connected? Not quite. Let's connect that first so that this one dot can just spread all over the place up here. And then we still need to find another city location. Oh, we could do the one in Prometheus. Yeah, we could probably do that. Oh, but not if you put the... Mm, not if you put the thing there. We need to hope that this is a city founding location. And we still have a lot of time to do it, so I'm not that worried. But you're going to go here. Gigantic titanium? I don't think I care. I need to save power. I'm not going to build you. I'm saving power. You can go here for extra support. And then you can expand to here. And next turn you can expand to there. You can be extra support. I'm happy to spend titanium on that. You should get a train station because it's going to let you grab one, two, three, four. New Baku also wouldn't mind a train station. Because it can grab one, two, three, four, five, six. You're probably also going to need like an AI guided road network. We should get some robots in you. I think Greeley already has a ton of robots, as does Big Titanium. So both of these places should probably get an AI guided road network. Could actually put that down now. I need another robot hub here, though. It's only going to give you plus two. Greeley's going to get plus four. One, two, three, four. We'll get that next turn. It's going to be a little down to the wire here. But I think we'll persevere. Another train station is massive. Another animal spreader is massive. Grab me this tile. Grab me this tile. Just be careful with your math here, okay? You need to found one more city. That should really be your priority above anything else right now. Iad Town is going to get this thing for plus 13. Anybody else missing a support building? You are. School's basically free. Blue Crater and New Baku both definitely want train stations. So let's just get it down now. Because we know that you can grab these. And that's fine. You need 28. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26. I think we've got it. In fact, I think we've got it with room to spare because we've got like five expansions available down here. We're going to be short on the actual explorations. We also need to make sure we found that ninth. Uh, oh my god, we might lose. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me when I'm so close to winning. Do I have any terraforming parameters coming to save me? It's not a city site. Oh. 
That's bad. That's really bad. Just think. This is support. Help yourself. This is also support. You don't need it there. You don't need it there. You don't have anywhere to put it there. You gave Nubaku a school. Give me plus nine. We need like a spreader building to come up or something. Any plant spreaders coming to save my life? Three turns? Seven turns? Nine turns? That's, that's going to be a no. An animal spreader actually could save our life, but I think I need to finish this magnetic field first. I'm I'm worried. <laughs> I'm stressed. If this is a city, then maybe we're in business. Support? Throw the rest out. It's a city location, but it's also kind of in hell. I think I can only explore uh, support taxes this turn. I think it's all I can afford to do. And I also need to make sure that this water connects to itself. So I know that costs me nine, but I kind of had to. And I actually think we're fine now because I explore this next turn. I found this. I have enough for a train station. I'm going to I'm going to win next turn. I think. Let's make sure it happens. <laughs> Let's make sure we have enough to build a plant spreader if one pops up. Um we can put you down just because Adjacent population provides support. So you are an adjacency building. We can put you like here. And that gives us something at least. So we can go one, two, three, four. Kills your support. Let's count. 72, 74, 76. 77, 78. 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, you have 100. All you need to do next turn is you need to found this city. And you can afford to. And you won't die. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is going to be the closest game we've ever had. Give me a plant spreader. Throw the rest out. Just, like, don't make a comically stupid error. Because if you screw this turn up, you die. You're done. 10 of 10. Enable this. Grab a free tile. Okay. Now. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I just realized I don't know what I'm counting up to. But, like, you can see the bar, it's pretty close. And then why don't you come do this dock, just so you don't have to click as much. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Dude, I'm so back. I know what I'm doing in Terraformers again. <laughs> Turn 64 victory. We're coming in ahead of schedule, and it was like never even that close. Don't even worry about what's going on with our support over there. We had that game under control the whole time. I was never afraid. So that takes us down to uh, to just two. We have Red Planet and we have Blue Planet. And those are the only two that are left. Here and here. Everything else, done. So I will catch you guys around for that. That's going to be where we're done today. 
We've got two games minimum to go. It might be two games maximum. It feels like we're on a pretty good hot streak right now, so we're going to keep it going. But uh, until then, I've been Chef, and I'll see you guys around next time. Take care.